Okay, here's where we left off yesterday with these um, plaid uh, Capri pants, which I was uh, working on. And as you see, I've matched the center front seam, and, which is a very time-consuming, labor-intensive process. And if you ever wonder why uh, clothes are um, so expensive, it is because uh, plaid pants correlate with golf links. And another correlation that I have always felt is uh, important is that uh, clothing design is an architectural process. It's a building and construction process, an engineering process, um, where the, uh, the designer and definitely the pattern maker and stitcher need to understand uh, how these things go together from the inside out, upside down, and backwards. Uh, and it is uh, a multi-layered um, process that has specifications of form and function, uh, f fit and ease of movement. Today I'm working on some ruffles that I'm going to put together for a wedding dress and they are in uh, silk faced satin organza, sat satin faced silk organza. And I have baby hemmed I've cut the cut uh, three to five inch arcs out of the fabric, and I've baby hemmed it. It's a little fi a really fine little hem here, which you get from that uh, presser foot. And I clipped into the edge after stitching a um, line about half an inch in from the seam, from the uh, e cut edge, and there you have it—a ruffle pull, and there you have a ruffle. Um, I have all of these ruffles here. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to do what I'm going to do with them, but I am uh, how I'm going to apply them. But I'm going to have them also, and I love them, so I just am putting it together. Um, and to get back to the architectural analysis analogy, um, I have always felt that uh, up until uh, up until. F uh, modern architecture and into contemporary architecture uh, where you have um, uh, them describe uh, Calvin Tompkins describing Frank Gehry's uh, Bilbao Guggenheim as a cloak of titanium um, that men have designed um, obelisks and women wear ruffles. Laboratorio de la Moda. See you next time.